artist friends. Good to see you. Um, I have really, really enjoyed getting all the pictures of your houses that you've been working on. It's so nice to know where you are. And I've been praying for each of you and your families and your homes that you would um, just be safe and well and happy and just so loved um, that all this extra time at home. If you have not um, taken the time to get on the gallery and look at all the great, great artwork, I encourage you to do so. It's a lot of fun to be able to see um, everybody's stuff. Okay, so this week we are going to work on a new project, printing. Now printing um, can mean a whole lot of different things. This week we are going to work on creating some printed papers. Now at school, a lot of times when we're making uh, something, we might take a day that we just create painted papers where we maybe have a few colors and we work on mixing the colors and creating texture on our paper um, or using specific tools and creating texture in the paint. And then um, maybe the following week in class, we can take that work and we can cut it up and we have different values and textures that we can use in our work to really help create good sense of form and space, you know, just really overlapping and, and getting all those good things worked into our compositions. So this week, we're going to work on some different kinds of printing and each day we'll do a different type of print. Um, so there's a different video that goes with each material. Today, we are going to work on some shaving cream prints and it creates a marbling type effect, which kind of ends up looking like my shirt which first things first, your shirt. This project could get a little bit messy. So probably make sure you have on a shirt that it's okay if it gets a little messy. This is one of Mrs. Heinzelman's painting shirts. So I'm good to go. Um, I'm going to go over the things that you will need for this activity. And then I will pause you go get your things and I'm going to change the camera around so that it can show um, the work on the table better and then we'll go from there. So first things you need. First of all, woo, what's the first thing you always have on your table at school to protect your surface? That's right, a big messy mat. So you can use a piece of cardboard. This is actually from an old desk calendar. You can use cardboard from a box. You can use a great big piece of paper, newspaper, a poster board. Um, if you have a tablecloth that's kind of plasticky that you could wipe off, you could use that too. You could also just use maybe a big placemat if you have that. The next thing you're going to need is a big dish. I have this glass dish that has deep sides on it and that just kind of catches the mess so it doesn't go everywhere. But you could also use uh, like a baking pan that you make cookies on or something like that. You're going to need a piece of cardboard that fits comfortably in your hand. This is going to be your scraping tool. And so it doesn't need to be enormous. You really need to be able to hold it comfortably. So I think a piece that, you know, your hand just fits across just right is, is a good size. You're also going to need a fork. Uh, this is actually for oranges. It peels oranges. Um, just so another little tool that you can use to um, create some lines and whatnot in your shaving cream. Paper towel, because you know you always need a paper towel for something. And finally, you're going to need some food coloring. Whoops, here we go. Food coloring. You can use the liquid or the gels. It doesn't matter. And shaving cream. Uh, I got this at Target for 99 cents. So if you're out, um, good place to get it. Also, you're going to need some paper. So it's fine if you use printer paper. That, that'd be fine. Or if you have some drawing pads, some artwork paper, that would be great too. Um, any of those. And I like to cut my paper into um, a few different sizes just to create some variety. And okay, that's
that's everything we need. So I'm going to pause it here. You go get the stuff that you need. I'm going to try to twist the camera around so that it will just really focus down here so you can see what's going on. Okay. I'll see you guys back in just a minute. Okay. Here we are. Take two. Let's do this thing. Okay. I think you have a good view now. So I have my messy mat set up and my glass dish is there. So now I'm just going to take my shaving cream. And the very first thing you have to do is you have to really shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And what that does is that helps it to get nice and fluffy in there. And then you're just going to put it all inside your pan. I just go around and around like a spiral until it's full. There we go. Now we're going to choose a couple of colors. Uh, you could choose all warm colors. What would the warm colors be? That's right. Red and yellow and orange. But usually food coloring just comes in four colors. So if you wanted warm colors, you would just have the yellow and the red. And then that's going to create some orange. So why don't we use that? So I'm going to take the red and I'm just going to put some drops here and there around. Ooh, the shaving cream smells so nice. So I've got some drops around there. Now I'm going to add some yellow. Now, who knows what's going to happen when these orange, or whoo, who knows what's going to happen when the red and the yellow food coloring drops start to mix up. That's right, we'll get some orange. So just take your fork and I'm just gonna swirl around in here. You can already see some orange popping up in there. I don't wanna mix it up crazy, you know, fast stirring it around like I'm making pancakes, but I do want to get my color swirled around. Think Vincent Van Gogh and all his beautiful swirls and his paintings. Okay, when you get it to a pattern that you like, I usually take my fork and I pull it on the side of my dish so that my extra shaving cream fluff just sits right there. Now I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to very carefully go over the top and just let it fall down in. Now I need to gently pat this all around so that there's shaving cream touching all the spots on my paper. And I can feel it underneath there. It feels nice and fluffy. I can even see the swirls through the paper. After I've given a nice massage to all the pepper, we're going to find a corner and we're going to lift it up carefully. And I'm going to use this hand to hold it. See all that shaving cream on there? Here's when it's a good time to have a messy mat. So now that it's on my messy mat, I'm going to take my big cardboard scraper. And I, I actually like to scrape pulling toward me. So I put my finger on the edge and I just push and pull. And then the extra shaving cream comes off on my cardboard. And remember, just put it on the edge of your of your dish. And then pull the next side and scrape the extra off. Now, all my shaving cream is off, but I'm just going to go back over it one more time and make sure there's no little pieces here and there. And look at that beautiful, beautiful pattern that it created. This is called marbling. We have all these wonderful curvy lines and I have some yellow areas and I have some red areas and then where the colors mixed, I have all these beautiful orange areas too. The nice thing about the shaving cream marbling is because we took all the fluff off, it's actually pretty dry. So I'm going to set it aside there and now I'm going to show you um, using a tool in a different way. So now if you take your fork and how about we'll make some wavy lines. So I'm just going to go up and down, up and down. 
up and down, up and down, up and down. And you can see that it's really swirling those colors together. And I'll put my extra fluff over there. I'm going to take my paper and put it in the pan. And what do I do now? That's right. I have to push it down so that I can feel shaving cream under all the parts of my paper. And I'm going to give it a nice massage. Oh, it feels so good. And rub this side. And you can see where the shaving cream is popping out the sides over here. That lets me know that color is getting all the way to the edge. Now, when all my paper has some shaving cream under it, remember, I'm going to take a corner and I'm going to pull it up. You can use your other hand behind there to help you. Put it on your messy mat. And now I'm going to take my scraper and I'm going to pull and then brush off your fluff and pull and brush off your fluff and pull and brush off your fluff oh my goodness look at those beautiful curve lines that we created do you remember in the shaving cream i took the fork and made all those crazy swirls wonderful you can set that one aside now look at all the stuff going on in this dish i could make another print from here or I could say, wow, there's so much fluffy stuff here. It's kind of getting in my way. All you have to do is take your fork and you can just push it back in there. And you can use that to make more prints. If you wanted to add another color, how about if we add just a little smidge of blue? It's very easy to just run this in your sink, run some water under it, and it all washes right out if you want to do different colors. I'm just going to do some blue over here. I do have to think about the colors that I'm going to use because I don't want to end up with, you know, mucky muck going on in there because my colors get all gross and brown. So I'm just going to add some swirly blues here and there. And there's some there. You can use whatever tool you're using to stir and move around the shaving cream. Mrs. Heinzelman just likes how it feels. Okay, let's see what we get this time. I'm going to get another big sheet of paper so that I get all the colors in my dish. So, we'll give it a nice pet all the sides mm. feel it squishy under there give it a nice massage okay i think i've got all my sides so i'm gonna pull from the corner let's see what we got Oh, very cool. I'm going to take my scraper. I'm going to scrape sideways. Look at that beautiful marbling. Oh, I really like the blue in there. So vibrant. There you go. So you can make as many prints as you like with all this. If your colors start getting too muddied up, you can just scoop some of the shaving cream out and put some fresh in. Um, I did some prints earlier and I have taken those and I just wanted to show you a couple of things you can do. You can take a print and fold it over to make a card. Since we're not able to see a lot of people right now, it would be a really nice time to make a card for somebody. Let you know, let them know that you're thinking about them, that you miss them. That's a sweet thing you can do with your marble prints. 
You can also 